Oh my god! I'm fuming right now. I assume you're never going to introduce Dan to your mom. Wow, let's get juicy real quick. Oh my god, I actually cannot believe this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another video and I'm back with a little testing video. Um, I have said to you guys, I think it was in the last video that I want to take my channel kind of in like the testing kind of route as I really enjoy it. And I found it and I found that that is what I enjoy most about my channel and I wouldn't be true to myself if I was just recording things that I didn't enjoy filming. So yeah, but today we are going to be testing Boohoo's beauty products. Now I didn't even know Boohoo did beauty products until one of you recommended for me to do this. So I'm really su I'm super excited about this. They have all arrived. They came this morning. Um, yeah, I am very very excited we haven't got loads I mean they don't do a ton of stuff for example foundation um, they didn't do mascara they didn't do I've still got a few basic things that we're going to try out as well as makeup brushes beauty blenders eyeshadow palettes everything like that one thing might be pretty obvious my eyebrows have changed yes I have had them microbladed so I will not be doing my eyebrows today because I don't actually need to do them anymore they're permanently done for me so yeah I obviously won't be trying out um, any eyebrow products which I'm sorry about if you clicked on this video for that. Um, I have a video talking about everything to do with this transformation um, coming in a couple of weeks so yeah stay tuned for that but I'm gonna stop rambling if this is the first time seeing my face firstly thank you for clicking onto this video it means a lot but it also means a lot if you could just head down there click subscribe it's free it's easy um, and yeah you can follow our little journey to 100,000 subscribers which is super exciting actually gonna be answering um, assumptions as well at the same time I got you guys to send in some assumptions things that you assume about me whether they're true or they're not just to like add a little something to this video as well so yeah I hope you guys do enjoy this video let's just get on and do the makeup Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. We're going to go through everything. So first, we're going to go through brushes. So I have two eyeshadow brushes here. Just your book, standard eyebrow brush. Eyebrow brush? Eyeshadow brush. And then a blending brush to go with it. I feel like the brushes were about £2 each on average. I'm going to link everything down below for you guys to find. But they weren't expensive at all. But I guess it adds up. In total, this all cost me £40. Um, at like 45 99 including deliveries. A lot more pricey than what I was hoping, but I feel like we did all right. And then this is for eyeliner, I believe. Yeah, eyeliner, but I use it to pop um, eyeshadow under my eyelids because I like to add like a pop of color, normally an orange. Just find it brightens up my eyes, especially having blue eyes. So yeah, I use it for that. Then have a fan brush just here for highlighter. Um, I bought this to pop on bronzer, but it came a lot smaller than expected. I feel like people use this for foundation if you don't use a blue beauty blender, but talking of beauty blenders, I got a little pink one here that I'm going to go wet in a minute. Then I picked myself up a lip... Cool. Picked myself up a lip liner, which is in this gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Please ignore the really orange hands. That's so embarrassing. A uh, little lipstick little pop of colour this is in the shade birthday suit then a bronzer I don't know about if anyone else thinks it but I feel like this bronzer is a very weird looking colour it's like an orange rather than a brown we'll test it out and we'll see anyway I'm going to have to try and apply it but this little brush here and then we have a highlight which is actually gorgeous I feel like that's going to be good lashes these are i'm really impressed with these i've just checked these out they look so nice in the packaging it's just gorgeous um what were these i don't know it says tw19 on there and then last i'm so excited to have a look at this i haven't seen it yet it's called sweet treats this was 14 pounds so this was the most expensive thing i got but if i remember rightly the colors no it's smashed i'm fuming guy oh my god i'm just gonna go everywhere I Yay! The, it has highlights in them, which is fine because I have brought highlighter, but the highlighter smashed. But apart from that, look how gorgeous these colours are. It's reminding me of like a Huda Beauty palette. That's the vibes it's given me, but that is so, so gorgeous. So yeah, this is our makeup. I have got my own foundation here, which is just the LA Girl Pro Coverage, which I use daily. I'm going to go wet this and then I'll be back. Um, I'm really upset about this. Hey-ho. 
Okay, I've just wet this and it's gone so big and spongy. I'm actually really impressed with this already. It's because it was quite hard and I was like, oh, this is going to be quite like um, hard on the face, but it's gone so squidgy. I hate using a new beauty blender. I hate when they go from a really nice shade to just like a dull orange shade. It's never fun, but yeah, I'm going to cheat here. I'm just going to pop on my normal foundation. Let's have a look at these assumptions. Let's see how savage you guys have been. I could have done with getting a powder. Um, but hey, hey. Oh, I'm sure we'll survive without a powder. Oh, an assumption about Dan is that he doesn't like you doing full-time YouTube. Honestly, if it wasn't for Dan, I don't think I would be doing full-time YouTube. He was the one that encouraged me, like, believed in me, said I could do it. Like, he's honestly, like, I would say he's, like, my biggest fan. Like, he's my biggest supporter ever. Oh, I've just realised we don't have concealer. I'm going to have to rob one of mine. Sorry, guys. They didn't do concealer either. It was many makeup brushes I did. Anyway, back to the questions. Um, no, he's like the biggest supporter. I don't know if any of you guys know. I don't know if I've spoken about it before. But a long, long time ago, Dan actually used to do YouTube himself. He used to be a little YouTuber. Um, well, I say little. When we, I swear when we first started speaking, he had more subscribers than me. Um, I think he had, I don't know how many subscribers he had. I think he had like over 20,000. And he, I think to this day, he still has more Instagram followers on his Instagram YouTube than me. <laughs> Which is sad. <laughs> but he doesn't do it anymore because he just had to focus on work. Um, but, so he's done it before. So he's like such a big supporter in it. And I honestly couldn't ask for a better boyfriend. Like cringe, I know. But like he's my biggest supporter. So that is definitely not true. Dan supports me every day. Asks me all the time like what I'm doing. What am I filming? What am I editing today? He's just so in the loop with everything. So yeah, that's the answer to that one. This is just a naked concealer. It's so, so good. I love it. I actually brought this for when I tested, like, um, products that influencers had recommended. And I'm so glad that they rec- I think it was Jordan Lipscomb that had, um, recommended this, um, on Instagram, like, ages ago. And I was like, okay, that's an influencer that's recommended it. I'll grab one. And it's honestly the best concealer I've ever had and will ever have. You're really self-conscious about tan on. This is gonna sound stupid, but that's actually kind of true. I I wouldn't say I'm self-conscious, but it gets me like it sounds so silly, but I feel really like not down, but I will not feel good about myself without tan. <laughs> I remember the once my my parents told me to stop wearing it. When I first started wearing tan, I used to get it everywhere, and I was like, I'm big, you're not wearing tan again. And I used to get it like up the wall, up the banisters, in the bath, and I literally had a breakdown about it. Because I just, I feel like it's a dangerous thing, fake tan. And like, once you start, it's hard to stop. It's like a little bit of an addiction, you know? Um, so yeah, I won't lie, I can't go hours without having tan on. I mean, I look orange all the time. I don't know why I do it to myself, I'll admit it. But I love it. <laughs> Ooh, juicy. You have your comments turned off because you can't deal with the hate. No, um, I have my comments turned off because YouTube won't let me have them on. The reason that they have given when we um, went to speak about it was because I have minors on my channel, i.e. I, Amy and Arlo, which I... <laughs> Not to like throw shade at the YouTubers. I don't think it's very fair because you look at the Sakoni Jolies, they have their comments on and they have their kids on their channel every day. How often do I have Ami and Arlo on my channel? Not even once a week, once a month, if that actually, you know. I have, I never really have Arlo on my channel, it's normally Ami. So I don't really get how that's fair. Uh, but yeah, that is the reason I'm not in control of my comments. I miss them so much. Um, but yeah, that's the answer to that one. Um, well, then I actually have a feeling they're never gonna, gonna, gonna come back. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think they're coming back, which is really sad because I can't interact with you guys. Like when you like, I always say YouTube's my baby. I'm getting these brushes out. YouTube's my baby, and when someone comes for it like that, like, is what's the need? What is the need? What did I do wrong? Please. Anyway, look how gorgeous these brushes are. They're like rose gold, and then like a metallic little pink. Let's walk out this gorgeous, gorgeous makeup palette. Um, how do we open? There we go. 
Oh no, highlight is going everywhere. I'm going to have to put this down and then lift it up to show you guys. I don't know what shade I'm going to do. They haven't got really any oranges. I'm going to think I'm going to put this cocoa. Is it cocoa or cocoa? I feel like I'm going to put this cocoa on, on the base. And then blend treat maybe. Can you guys see where treat is? I might add a little bit of sparkle. Who knows? Let's have a look. Let's see what the pigmentation is going to be like on these. No, I don't, no offence BP, but I don't have high hopes for the pigmentation. Let's have a look. Do you know what? It's actually not that bad. For £14, that's really not that bad. I take it back. If we just build it up. No, honestly, that's actually really good. That is a decent little bit of uh, pigmentation, if you ask me. What else are people saying? You want kids real soon, honestly, yes. <laughs> That's true. Oh, this highlight's going everywhere. Um, I actually would have kids now if I had a house, if I was married. But you know what, I want to do everything the typical, um, the typical way, like move out, get engaged, get married, have kids, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I'm no makeup artist, by the way. <laughs> I'm guessing what, I literally have guessed what I've been doing since the age of 16. I always just put a dark colour in. Do you know what? I don't think I've ever watched a makeup tutorial. Believe that or not. Like, makeup doesn't interest me. Even though, like, I wear full face every day. Does not interest me. Hence why I've never brought makeup onto my channel until really now. Wow. Cute. I assume you're never going to introduce Dan to your mum. Why? Wow, let's get juicy real quick. I don't know the answer to that, guys, being honest. That's not me keeping you from anything. Uh, some of you know, some of you won't know. I, my mum currently is not in my life. Um, I will never fully go into that. There's probably a video from ages ago, maybe, like when I had like no subscribers speaking about it because there was no pressure back then of people judging you. But um, no, my mum's currently not in my life. So Dan has never met my mum. Um, Probably, I don't know if he ever will. Who knows? You never know what's going to happen. But right now, if someone was to ask me, I'd probably say probably not. Um, I mean, he's obviously really pally with my stepmom and like my dad. Actually, there was an assumption about that that dad doesn't get on with my dad. They get on very well from like the get go. They, my dad adores Dan, absolutely loves him as well as like my whole family. So. Which is very, very nice. Wow, this looks a little bit dramatic. You love being able to work with brands that you've always loved. Of course, like the opportunities I've been given for doing YouTube is honestly a dream. Favourite brand I've ever worked with, hands down, PLT. Like, oh, if PLT was a person, I'd definitely marry them. Like, PLT is my all time and will forever be my favourite brand. And I remember when I first got the email through that they wanted to work with me, I literally sat on my bedroom floor and cried. <laughs> call me dramatic but um this i don't really think this is a blending brush because we've been here a while trying to blend this but i don't really know what's going on right now i've just been here like stabbing my eye for the past five minutes like i say i'm no beauty guru hence why there's never any makeup tutorials on my channel you're so happy that youtube is your full-time job now hell to the mother freaking yes i cringe like put your cringe headphones on if you don't want to hear this but um I have never, ever, 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 ever been so happy in my life. Like, this is, like, the happiest point of my life. Like, cliche, don't really jinx it. But you know what? Everything just feels perfect. Like, you feel like there's nothing wrong. I'm not I'm not here to, like, brag about it at all. But um, if you want to do something, blum and do it. Like, do it. I cannot recommend enough. No offence to, like, people I work with. Hopefully no one is watching this. <laughs> or to the job itself. I wish I left years ago because it was never so much a financial thing it was more of like not wanting to let go um of the people um and things like that and it was so and it was also the fear of being lonely i've really messed up this i don't know what's going on but it was more the thought of being lonely and not being able to cope being by myself every day but since i've done it full time i've just been so busy that 
I don't ever really have the chance to sit and think, God, this is lonely. Because it can be a lonely job. Like, I will put my hands up and say that. I really don't know what I've done to my eyes. What the hell is going on right now? I don't know what's not working here, whether it's the brushes or what, but something needs to change. I'm so happy, and obviously that's all down to you guys for literally just watching my videos. So thank you for that, and everyone that subscribes and joins me on this little journey. Um, honestly, hand on heart, thank you. You don't actually need glasses. Sweetie, this is probably why the eyeshadow is so bad right now, because I cannot see. <laughs> I need glasses. It's like, I'm... Honestly... I, I, I fear for my eyesight, because... I'm 20, wow, well, I'm almost, I'm 21 in a couple of weeks, but I'm, like, I'm 20 years old and my eyes sight is that bad, like what am I going to be like when I'm 40, but I definitely will get laser eye surgery at one point, um, but it's only been like recently, it's, oh, we love a cracked mirror, it's only been recently that it's really deteriorated, which is, I think that scares me the most, like it's not like I've always had bad eyesight, it's been in like the past two years, that it's two, three years. Well, it's been in the past 12 months that it's deteriorated. I used to be able to go like six weeks without wearing glasses and not needing them. And now I can't even wake up um, and go on my phone without my glasses. So yeah, it's, it's bad. Everyone has said I assume you're the popular girl in school. I was not the popular girl. Like I say this to my friends all the time. Like if I didn't do YouTube, and you were to say to someone, oh, do you remember Amber Knight? They'd be like, who? <laughs> Who's she? Who's she? Now, I actually moved to my area quite late in life, late in life, like I'm 60. Um, I moved to school uh, into this area in, in the end of year eight. So I obviously didn't grow up around here. So if I didn't do this, people just probably wouldn't know who I am. Do you know what I mean? Um, but no, I was not popular. I had friends, don't get me wrong. I had friends, but I was never that popular shall we say, go, um, which is fine, that really didn't bother me, um, I had amazing friends, and I think that's all that matters, as long as you've got good, decent friends, <sighs> right, let's, I've wanted a brush like this for the longest time, because I, you normally use a normal eyeshadow brush, and that just puts so much makeup under your eyes, I kind of have mixed reviews about this palette, you know, I don't really know how I'm feeling, I'm going to put some glitter on and see what happens. Look at the state of me. What am I doing to my face? This is just pure embarrassment because this is all on camera. Like, this isn't just me, like, getting ready for the day. Like, this is going out to however many people. Next. Okay. I feel like these could be worse. They're not too bad. Once we have eyelashes on, we'll be fine, yeah? Only close to Amy on the camera. Beef. Uh, no. Um, I would, I wouldn't say me and Amy like the closest that sisters could be, purely because I used to see her like every other weekend for like six years of her life. How many years was it? Five years? Can't remember. Five years, five, six years of her life. Um, it's not like we even argue or fall out. It's like if she needs me, um, I will be there for her. Like she's very open to me, which I'm so glad about because when I was her age I used to bottle everything up. So I like that she comes to me and will speak to me. And I'm also so happy that she feels like she can do that and that I'm someone she can speak to. Um she does my head in, I do her head in, normal sister, sister bonding, like we have our moment. She started to steal my my stuff, which really gets on my nerves, I won't lie. She ate a whole box of my lucky she ate a whole box of my lucky charms the other day wasn't too impressed about that but at the end of the day she knows that i'm there for her i know i've got her like i can even go speak to her about stuff and she will try and understand it wow look at that sparkle is the camera gonna pick it up guys look at that sparkle right let's add, add this to the eye oh my god i actually cannot believe this i didn't think this would work this well Oh my god, I'm so happy. Can you guys see that sparkle? I'm going to mix in with another one because I'm just so excited about this. Yeah, I always find that the sparkles work better when you do it with your 
little finger rub than a makeup brush. Don't you overthink when Dan goes out on a lad's night out. He doesn't actually really go out ever. Um, he's been on a couple lad's holidays since I've been with him, um, which I hated. <laughs> <laughs> which any girl would, you know what I'm saying, like, um, they weren't fun, I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you guys, like, it happens. You just always worry, like, you could trust your boyfriend, like, 125 billion percent, yet you're still scared. Like, that's me, like, I trust them with all my heart, but I still get scared. <laughs> which is completely normal, um, but... No, if he, if he goes, like, to the football or uh, goes to the pub or whatever, like, doesn't even bother me. If anything, I actually encourage him to do it. I'm like, come on, go out, go out, go out. Um, which I think is a really good thing to do. My dad's always told me to be like that. Um, which I think it's really good that, um, I think it's a really good thing to encourage your other half to go out rather than stopping him. Like, I would never stop him from doing anything. Um and always encourage him to go out and see his friends as much as I can. Obviously we have the weekends, which we do class as our time. Um, like I probably wouldn't go out my way to go and do something on the weekends because I see that as our time and that's just the way our relationship works. Um, but like in the week, if I'm not seeing him, I'm always like, why don't you go out? Why don't you go and watch the football? Why don't you go to the pub? Do you know what I mean? I think that's a healthy thing to do. So, oh my God, I'm gonna rip these lashes. Please don't rip, please don't rip. Um, okay, I don't know how well these are going to look on my eyes, but we'll give it a go. Okay, here we go with this eye. These aren't very, like, strong. But, I mean, they were, like, two... No, I think these were, like, four pounds. I don't think these are going to stick to my eyes. We did this with the Primark one, guys, and they just didn't stick. But we'll give it a go and we'll see. This is not going well. Oh god, unicorn eyelashes I can stick on in like 0.5 seconds, but any of her eyelashes is a no. But yeah, I didn't end up dropping out, so I almost did, but I stick it out. Um, which I'm glad I did. Because I have that qualification, even though I'm probably not going to use it. Well, I won't, but it's there. Because I feel like actually if it wasn't for YouTube... Do you know what? If it wasn't for YouTube, I really would love to be a teacher. Now, this has only come on me like the past couple of months. I wouldn't stop YouTube to go and do it because YouTube is like my life. And I would hate not doing it. But let's say it... I don't know, YouTube blew up overnight. Not blew up, like shit down overnight. Then I would probably go into teaching. Although I wouldn't really want to start uni now. Wow, that's actually an alright eyelash. It's natural. I actually really like those eyelashes. They're really wispy, but they're not full, so they're quite natural. I'm impressed with that, boo-boo. Well done. Um, you miss work? No. <laughs> In the nicest possible way. I miss the people, and I miss... I kind of miss, like, not knowing what's going on, if you know what I mean. Like, working at a place for five years, you know everything about everyone's life that work there. And I miss not knowing, like, how everyone is. Like, because obviously you're going out, you're like, oh, how are you? And I just like, oh, yeah, I'm good, how are you? But you don't really know. Oh, it's my scissors that dropped. Um, so that is what I miss, like, knowing how everyone is. But apart from that, I don't miss the job at all. Um, it was a good four years while I was there. But as for now, no. I don't miss it, man. I do not miss it. Um, your bank account has more than four digits in. I wish, Sinshana, that Dan doesn't want kids, but you want about 20. Yeah, I want about 20, that part's true, but the bit of Dan is definitely a lie. Um, he wants kids as much as me, which I think makes me love him so much because I never thought I'd find a boy, like a man, who wants kids as bad as I do. Like, when I see him with Arlo, I'm like, let's have kids, <laughs> please. Oh, God, what is, oh, what is this boohoo? What the hell do you call this? This is not a bronzer. This, I should have used this as my orange eyeshadow, right? Look at me. Look at the state of this. 
that brush definitely shouldn't be being used as a bronzer brush. Let's try out this highlighter, shall we? That's an okay highlighter. You've got to get quite a bit on the brush, but when it's on the skin, it's actually a nice little goldy highlighter. I like the uh, colour, the shade of it. Okay, it's not really, it's kind of showing it. I'm trying to overline so you can see it more rather than just putting it on my lips. Now, let's try out this lipstick. That is very pink. It's a nice little pink though, it'd be nice for summer. It's just very pink. I'd probably pop a dark colour like maybe Velvet Teddy by MAC underneath it or just a really dark lip liner but here is the overall finished makeup look which do you know what it could have been better it could have been a lot worse I'm actually not mad at it um, the eyelashes I like but they just don't stick very well I find that with eye can you see how it's not sticking down in the corner I find that with eyelashes that don't have very thick bands um, the eyeshadow palette I really like the highlighter I liked bronzer I hated the lip line is okay it's just not pink, pink very pigmented the lipstick again I will probably use a lipstick again but just probably pop a darker shade with it a little bit crazy um, but overall I think I'm going to give Boohoo a 6.5 5 out of 10 purely because there's room for improvement they need to probably bring out a little bit more um, makeup bits there but I hope you guys did enjoy this kind of style of video it's nice to have a little chat with you guys as well I feel like I don't get to do that much especially obviously not having my comments on that doesn't help but um, yeah I had so much fun filming this and I hope you guys did enjoy watching it and I'll see you all very soon for another video thank you so much for watching bye guys